today I have a very fun reading vlog that I'm going to be doing this week. This week I am in Costa Rica with my family. So I thought I would do a little reading vlog of all of the fun summer vacation, summer vibe reads. I feel like a lot of people who don't even read love some summer reads sitting by the beach or the pool. I feel like I've been in a bit of a reading slump just getting back home and with school and moving home and everything. So I'm so excited to just relax for a week and really get back into reading all the time. So I'm now I'll go through all the books that I brought with me really fast. The first one is Wild Love by Elsie Silver. I did start this on the plane. I'm like 100-ish, yeah, 100-ish pages in, and it's so good so far. I love Elsie Silver, so I'm really excited to see where this goes. And this is super summery. It's set on a lake, and it like has some flashbacks, or it's not flashbacks, but they like talk about how they grew up together on the lake, which is really cute. And I just like love that setting always. And then what is a summer read without Ellen Hildebrand? This is 28 Summers by her. This is like one of her most popular books. She has so many. If you haven't heard of Ellen Hildebrand, she writes novels. They're not always romance. There are a lot of like lit fic and stuff but they are almost always set on Nantucket, which is perfect and just the best vibes ever. And I have no idea what this is about, but I've read two of her books before, loved them both. I'm hoping that this is the same vibe. And this is one of those like cute little beach books like that you get like at the like airport or the beach stores, but I ordered this on Amazon, but it's so cute like compared to a normal book. It's really small. So it's a little scary for like the font. And then I have Jana Goes Wild, which if I'm not mistaken, it's about a girl going to a wedding in like the Serengeti safari vibes, which is just perfect for AM right now. We're doing a lot of like hiking and seeing animals and whatnot. And this is like the cutest cover I've ever seen. It's so cute. I'm really excited to read this. I think it's just gonna be like fun, silly, fast paced. Perfect summer read. And then last but not least, I brought Second Chance Summer. This is also set on the lake, I'm pretty sure. And then this is Childhood Friends to Lovers Second Chance Romance vibes, but they're also in high school. So it's not like such a big second chance. Like they're technically still children of Childhood Friends to Lovers. I'm obsessed with the second chance trope. Like always, I eat up second chance. I'm so excited to read all these this week. I hope I get to all of them. A good challenge. So that's my goal from this trip finish all these books and be on my phone way later. I haven't been able to talk to you about this book because at our first hotel we were doing all of the like adventure stuff So I was kind of just like doing adventures coming back to the hotel reading going to bed, which was so fun But now we're at a more relaxing one So basically I'll probably finish this today, but I am obsessed with this book Elsie Silver does it again. They're not just like another silly little romance like you actually enjoy the characters, not cheesy at all, great storyline. Basically Wild Love is kind of childhood friends to lovers, but they haven't seen each other in like 10 years and it's best friend's brother romance as well, which is so fun and like he's been obsessed with her forever, but they like thicker and Elsie Silver just does banter so, so well. So yeah, safe to say I'm obsessed with Ford in this book you read the chestnut spring series which i bet you have if you're watching this video those are some of my favorite books if not go read it perfect for the summer great recommendation for this video um but if you've read chestnut springs willa in the chestnut Springs series this ford is her brother he's also a billionaire but that's like not a big part of the story but he's a billionaire but he like goes to get away at the lake and then that's where this story unfolds and i love it so much i have only this much left so I bet that I'll finish it today and then I'll tell you how I feel but I'm obsessed with Ford. I love him he's like so obsessed like he is an obsessed man who's just doing all the right things for her love it but yeah let's go down to the pool and finish it <laughs> I 
finished Wild Love by Elsie Silver and I think I'm going to give it a 4.25. I know that's like so specific, but it was just so good. But I feel like recently I can't give romances a five star unless they like really connect with me in some way. So, but that means this is amazing. Like I fully recommend that you read this. I love the characters in this book so much and all of Elsie Silver's books, I feel like they're like a cute, fun romance where you're like actually like giggling to yourself and it's so sweet, but it also has storylines that like mean a little bit more or some things that mean a little bit more. And that's how I felt about this. So I loved it so much. First book of this video is done and it's safe to say I'm obsessed. I think I'm gonna go with Jana. I'm gonna go with Jana Goes Wild next because I'm like in the jungle. I saw monkeys this morning just sitting eating breakfast. I'll like insert a clip here, but I saw monkeys. So I'm like, this is just the perfect book for my trip right now. So I'm gonna read this. It's about, I think they go to a wedding where it's like in the safari. I could be making that up, but I'm gonna jump into this today. <laughs> of Jana Goes Wild and I don't really know how I feel yet. It's definitely a fun setting. So they're like on a safari and basically the premise is, okay, this is on the back so it's not a spoiler, but Jana had a two week affair with a man and got pregnant. So after she got pregnant, after the two weeks, I didn't really speak at all because some stuff happened. He wasn't a great guy. And then he shows up at the wedding to help out with the daughter and everything like that. So I think it's gonna be a love story between the two of them which I'm like not really rooting for, if you know what I mean. Like he was kind of a bad guy when they first had their two week affair. So I really like don't think I'm rooting for him unless he has this like big character arc turnaround in the rest of the book. But that's where it's heading right now and I'm like almost halfway. So we'll see, like it doesn't seem like another love interest is gonna come into the picture. So yeah, we'll see, I don't know. There's a lot of like fun family friend dynamics going on and a really good setting as I said. I'll have to see where it goes. Gold hair. Okay, I just finished Jana Goes Wild and I think I'm gonna give it a three stars. It was such a fun, like cute, easy beach read. Perfect for being on vacation sitting by the pool, but it wasn't just like anything show-stopping but it was really fun i read it super fast i did end up rooting for the characters at the end there was a good character development there was kind of miscommunication trope which sometimes is a little bit frustrating and i'm also i'm really into when like the man does the groveling and the woman had to do a little bit of groveling in here which i didn't love but it was still just like fun easy silly really cute and honestly this is like one of the best covers i've ever seen I also haven't read anything else by Farrah Heron and I think I would want to give her another chance because it was really cute and it was like there were some quotes that were like really good but I feel like I was just missing a little bit more. Definitely gonna give her another chance. She had really fun writing. I think I'm gonna go with Second Chance Summer next. Yay! <laughs> pages almost halfway into second chance summer and i'm really enjoying this so far i didn't like think i was gonna love this because i feel like i've read a lot of books like this that have similar tropes and i think i just eat them up every time and i think i always will summer house second chance friends to lovers childhood friends to lovers is gonna do it for me every time and even though they're teenagers, 
I'm loving this and it's not like too cheesy at all and I'm like really curious to see what happens there's like kind of a mystery not a mystery but there's kind of suspense it's like something happened that like everyone doesn't talk anymore and I have to wait to find out so I feel like that's making me want to read quicker and get to know what that was yeah I'm really enjoying this but I do only have one more full day on this vacation and I feel like it's gonna take me tomorrow to read all of that and I don't think I'm gonna get to the Helen Hildebrand book. I really wanted to get to all four of them. But I've been reading so much that I'm definitely out of a reading slump. My family is like, how are you reading this much on this trip? We are doing a lot of activities where I can't be reading. So I'm proud of myself for what I've done. In the groove again, definitely not in a slump anymore. But I'll probably read a little bit more before bed because I'm curious to see some more in this. Guys, how cute is this? Housekeeping gave me two bookmarks. Really cute. Right next to my books. So sweet. I was just crying my eyes out. Literally just finished Second Chance Summer. You saw. I just got up and moved here. But oh my god, I did not expect to love this as much as I did. I think it didn't give me that like five star like fluttery. Oh my god, I feel so attached to these characters feeling for the whole book. But it was just so like nostalgic and sad and emotional and like had good like family development which always gets me and i think it's on the back let me double check okay yeah basically the premise that you get in this book too is that her dad has cancer and it's like their last summer to go to the lake house all together and that's why there's so many like second chances so the family's bonding she's bonding with a love interest and her old best friends and wow like i just love summer books like that that are like the second chance romance and it's called second chance summer but oh my god it was so good i feel like i'm like not explaining it well right now but it was so sweet and i just literally bawled my eyes out i like tried to get i like was like oh my god i need to film this so i started crying so i took it on my phone but i like already had blown my nose at that point like i had to blow my nose i was crying so much is also 614 on my last day of this trip we are going home tomorrow morning so sadly we are not going to make it to miss all and Hilda brand this trip i'm so happy with what i read let's do a little quick debrief because i feel like these are all such good books i think every single one is a four stars such perfect summer reads wild love though was like 4.5 it was so good i love elsie silver maybe this maybe second chance summer is 4.5 i feel like i need to sit on it because i feel like a 4.5 is something that like or a five star is something that i like think about a lot and i think maybe that's what made me cry like i'll think about these characters but i don't know for sure oh wait i gave john goes wild the three stars but it was still really good. These were just such great summer beach vacation reads. I recommend all of them to you. I'll read Miss Ellen Hildebrand on the plane for sure, but I'm just happy that I got to these and I'm definitely out of a reading slump. Like I wanna pick up my next book right now, which I love having that feeling back. And my phone did tell me that I was down like 20% of my screen time this week but I also wasn't working and I work on my phone a lot so that has something to do with it but I'm so glad to be out of a slump really hope that you enjoyed coming along this vacation with me what I read and everything it was so fun to film I love filming reading vlogs and reading videos so much so yeah I hope you enjoy this video and I will see you in the next one